All right, we got the prologue. A country surrounded by imposing mountains and blessed with the abundant natural natural beauty. Theodore. Alvin. Theodore. Yeah. <laughs> did. 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 Uh, this is the country in which I was born, and the country I must protect. Princess. Princess. Gramps. Please keep your voice down. I'm sorry, princess. Oh, were you training? Yes, I want to become stronger, even if just a little. The lives of the people rest on my shoulders. Since your father, the king, died... Grandpa, why you had to bring up that shit? <laughs> you really have become stronger. That's only natural. If I don't become strong, who will protect my mother and my people? And then there's a sacred sword entrusted to me by my father, who died. My father died. <laughs> my father's dead. <laughs> the sacred sword Excalibur, handed down from generation to generation in the country of Theodore. Oh, Theodore's the country. Right next to Simon and Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> Is that part of it? Right there. Is that in there? Yeah, that's in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll, we will be vis visiting Alvin and Simon later. Oh, my God. It has been the duty of six... <laughs> it has been the duty of successive kings... Successive? Successive. Kings to protect it. Since my father died, my mother, the queen, handles the pol political side of things. And I am entrusted with the protecting the sacred sword. However, Gramps, wasn't there something you wanted? Oh, that's right. The crops that the people have been demanding since. Boom! What, oh, what was that? Stunned by the thunderous blasts, we turn toward the ca castle gate. Alvin is invading. There we saw a man on horseback, surrounded by countless soldiers. What's... Oh, what's that? No, that's a dude. What's this? You, you're King Oth... Oh, that was Chick Chick talking the whole time. It's been a long time. Oh my god, you can woo King Arthur. Are we going after King Arthur? We can go after King Arthur. What about Merlin? We can go after Merlin. Let's go after Merlin. Everyone goes after King Arthur. Yeah, I guess so. Arthur was stupid in that other game. Yeah. What do you mean by this? Why have you suddenly attacked my country? I'm from Alvin. I've come to retrieve something that belongs to my country. The Sacred Sword Excalibur. What are you talking about? Excalibur belongs to Theodore. And Alvin and Simon. You're wrong. The Sacred Sword belongs to Lord Gress. The grass. That's the grass. What is King Arthur saying? The sword belongs to the grass. That's, that's what he said. Shocked by the unexpected words and attack, my vision grew hazy. Am I fainting? We're fainting. Give me the sacred sword. If you do so, I will end this attack. I cannot do that. My father, this is a treasure that my father and many kings before him have protected for many years. I cannot just hand over such a precious sword. My heart, though. I see. Well, then. King Arthur suddenly raised his right hand. He's going to pimp slap you. At this signal, the soldiers shouted and began invading the castle. Oh, that's better. This castle, this country, my people, everything that my father and my mother had protected. No, I won't let this go any further. I must protect them all. Gramps, inform the queen immediately. Go run, Gramps. Yes, princess, as your command. Gramps doesn't sound as old as I made him out to begin with. me. <laughs> I've lost it. This is why I'm a failure as a professional and audible reader. Then sound the alarm. Gather together as many soldiers as possible. 
Gramps nodded and left at a run. I grasped the, ra- the rapier. That's a weapon, right? Yeah. I had been holding more tightly and thrust at King Arthur. Ooh. Very nice swordsmanship, but your defense is weak. Without even dismounting, he parried my attack and pressed a counterattack of his own. I have heard of his prowess, but never imagined that he could be this strong. I only been I was only able to launch one attack after that. I was constantly on the defense. Look the you should look at Arthur. Let's see, that's Arthur. Mm. He's kicking our ass. Look at that. By the way, if you want to think rapier, think of uh, Raphael from uh, Soul Calibur. The weapon he uses. I just, I don't know. I don't like the a weapon that says rape in it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't play a game that involves knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, <laughs> if I could somehow just land one strike, just as I wish that. What is a woman doing in the middle of a battle? There's another guy, if you don't notice. What is a bitch doing in the middle of a battle? <laughs> <laughs> What's a ginger doing here? He's ginger. Look at him. He's ginger. <laughs> With those words, an unknown man nimbly leapt between King Arthur and me. Who, who are you? Oh, shit. We gotta name ourselves now. Name ourselves or name the... This whole time we've we've been nameless. So what? Zen, Kenko. How about Zenko? Tap. Zeki. Oh, we we're gonna go with another one. Uh, Zeki, I don't know. I'm a female, so Zeki, I guess. I don't know. Z Z E K I. Yeah, sure. No, Z E K Y. It's a little weird. Let's no, go. Z E K I. Yeah, Zeki. God damn it! I'm going back and forth. Back oh and my forth. god, baby. Zeki. Okay, I got Zeki. I got Zeki. Okay, what? And the last name Kenko? Or do you yeah, want to? Kenko. Kenko is always gonna be a last name. Kenko. Zeki. Next. <laughs> or back. That's <laughs> baby. You actually opened up a whole new playing field for me. Holy shit. Huh? You're you're Princess Kenko. Who are you? The mysterious swordsman gazed, br- Sword gaze, bull swordsman, <laughs> gaze turned briefly in my direction. Shut up, Garrel. Garrel. And in the gay rule. Sharon. No. And now, <laughs> now is <laughs> now is not the time for such questions. <laughs> oh shit, his face went weird. <laughs> like his face blinked out and came back. I'll hold him <laughs> here while you get away. This is going to be his voice now. This is what, If I can keep that voice, I will do it. I, I will also fight. Women should never wield swords or other weapons. For one thing, there is no one else here who is matched for King Arthur. Is there? Changing his grip on his sword, the swordsman, swordsman, swordsman planted his feet and swung at King Arthur. But King Arthur easily parried the blow. You have some skill, but you are a bit too brash. This is just the beginning. I did say that you act too brashly, did I not? His attacks are precise, but they are being entirely blocked. This is not the end. With a fearless smile, the swordsman began to run past King Arthur. What is he doing? As I wondered, he jumped toward one of the trees in the garden. Kicking off from the tree trunk, he used the recoil to launch a new attack at King Arthur. Ooh, he's using objects. Yeah! The tip of his sword just touched King Arthur. And... At this instant, impossibly, he dropped as if struck by lightning. Do not think to touch Arthur. Oh, Merlin's a chick. We can't be, we can't go after Merlin. Who says we couldn't go after Merlin? I guess. But I don't think that they give us that option. They don't? Ugh. Oh, look, he said, ugh, that's his word. Ugh. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to get up again? You are tenacious, aren't you? I'll put you out of your myth. 
Merlin, did you find it? Yes, here it is. So saying, Merlin produ produced Excalibur. There doesn't seem to be any doubt. None whatsoever. Very well, let's withdraw. You're not going to crunch, crunch, crush this country? She looks so angry that she wasn't able to crush this country. <laughs> Fucking leave Simon, Alvin, and Theodore alone. <laughs> Book -cozy bitch. I don't have the energy to, pr to bother with it. I see. King Arthur issued his order and soldiers began to draw. No, I can't let him take the sacred sword. My vow to fa my father. My father. My father who's dead. My dead father. My vow to protect him will be broken. Did she say that? <laughs> she say no. I have to get it back. I was prepared to run after them, but suddenly I, I heard the swordsman groan. Ugh. This man, who was not a soldier and whose name I didn't even know, had even severe had been severely wounded for my sake, and the soldiers inside and outside the castle as well. Before I knew it, I had dropped the sword and hurried to the swordsman's side. A week after King Arthur's sudden attack, the country of Theodore was quickly recovering. None of the civilians had been seriously wounded, but. There were several deaths among the soldiers, and some were gravely injured. Mother, how are you feeling? I'm fine, dear. Thank you. Well, don't... Oh, please don't overexert yourself. My mother had been slightly injured and was who attacked the fucking queen and was currently forbidden to rise from her bed. But her face was un unmarred and she was able to converse which I suppose was the only salvation to be gleaned from this event. Gleaned? The fuck is gleaned? Taken, taken Why does your mom call her by your last name? Kenko, I need to talk to you. <laughs> uh, what uh, do you... Japanese culture, they always do last names before first names. But it's the mother, it's the mother. <laughs> Don't you guys got the same fucking last name? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> you, you're planning to try to get Excalibur back, aren't you? Um, what? Why would you think that? You're my daughter. I can, though I talk, call you by your last name. I can tell just by looking at you. And I know that there is no stopping you. Mother. However, I cannot allow you to try to retrieve the sacred sword by yourself. Therefore, I have communicated with three others, three others who you will initially bang, who can help you with your quest. Mother, I'm perfectly, perfectly capable of, the, of making a sentence. <coughs> Mother, I'm perfectly capable of doing this alone. Please, heed your mother's wishes. I, I can't bear to lose you too, like your dead father, your father who died. <laughs> your dead, dead father. My mother's emotions stopped my words in my throat. They are all worthy gentlemen. Well, you can't bang. Oh, we get people. Oh, hey, the guy who had the weird voice is Ethan. Or Ethan. Ethan. It's Ethan. Should we call him Ethan? I'm going to call him Ethan. Okay. He is kind and strongly guided by his own conscience. Don't Has a keen. <laughs> oh, yeah, Taylor. His uh, name is Ethan. Okay, we're going to say Ethan. No, 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 uh, go Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> we're Ethan. We're Ethan mad, man. Yeah. Has it? <laughs> I'm Ethan mad. Wait, wait, okay, so Knight is Ethan, and he's a kind, strongly guided by his own conscience, has a keen feeling of what is right and wrong. There's a mage called Ray. He is a very gifted magician, come and go as he likes without telling cool and collected he can be quite selfish sometimes and then there's an elf estelle known for his gracious fighting style and stunning look this man who treasures nature like his life it's orlando bloom so we got orlando bloom gandalf the gray <laughs> or we got ethan 
Who do you want? You want to look at them? Here. Let's, let's this, this is Ethan. This is Ray. And that's Estelle. Let's, you got a blonde right there. He's because she shoots arrows. Let's do Ray. Ooh, we're going to do Ray. What's Ray? What's Ray again? Okay, I said Ray. He's a, he's a mage. Let's do Ray. Do not leave my side without my permission. He's oh. our Ray of Sunshine. Oh, our little Ray of Sunshine leaving us all the fucking time. Yeah, little piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> little piece of fit Ray of Sunshine. <laughs> It's a shitty ass sunshine. He's only here for 12 hours out of the day. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Are you sure about Ray? Yes, I'm sure about Ray. Estel. 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 All yes. right. Let's. We're going to start this shit. Purpose.